This is Common Core State Standard Support Video for Mathematics. The standard is 1NBT4. This is a pretty long standard. It states, add within 100, including adding a two-digit number and a one-digit number, and adding a two-digit number and a multiple of 10, using concrete models or drawings and strategies based on place value, properties of operations, and or the relationship between addition and subtraction using concrete models or drawings and strategies based on place value, properties of operations, and or the relationship between addition and subtraction. Relate the strategy to a written method and explain the reasoning used. Understand that in adding two-digit numbers, one adds tens and tens, ones and ones, and sometimes it is necessary to compose a ten. Again, that's a long standard, and there's also some prerequisites that we have to make sure the students have. First of all, adding within 100 using two digit and one digit numbers really necessitates knowledge of place value. So that's critical. And this in turn requires that students fluently compose, decompose, and transition between ones and tens. So it's important that when we have 10 ones that the students can then visually or actually physically you know, take those and rearrange them in such a way where it leads to the idea of 10 ones being 110. Again, critical prerequisite. This is absolutely necessary for students to be able to handle two-digit computation. So let's take the number 17. Students have to be flexible and see this in two different ways. They need to see this as 17 individual ones, but they also have to see it, again, critical, that they interpret this also as 1, 10, and 7 ones. So let's start off with an example of adding a two digit with a one digit number. Now it's important that students get some experience doing these horizontally. If students have only experienced seeing a problem like this set up vertically, they may not know what to do with this on a test. And especially if they have to set this up vertically themselves and if they don't know how to line them up correctly vertically, then mistakes will be made. So again, uh, let's do these, uh, set these up horizontally to give students experience with that. So here students might just see this as 17 ones and five ones and just combine them to be 22 ones. But not all numbers are going to be that small. So it's important again that they do this using place value. So setting this up as 17 being 1, 10, and 7 ones, plus our 5 ones, students can then physically take your uh, manipulatives and combine all of the ones to be 12 ones. And now let's combine all of this to where we have our numerical representation. We actually have the physical objects. And then we also have this uh, deliberately set up where we have columns where we separate the tens and the ones to emphasize this idea that you can only add like items. You can only add tens with other tens, and you can only add ones with other ones. Now here, notice that, wait, this violates what we're allowed to do. We can't do this. We can't have two digits in the ones place. And here's where the idea of having to convert 10 ones to 110 comes into play. So students have to realize, okay, I've got way too many ones. So if we subtract 10 from 12, we get 2. So this breaks up to 10 and 2. So now students need to take that, those 10 ones and rearrange them to where they can see that, okay, those 10 ones are going to become 110. And then likewise, uh, when they're working with the written aspect of it, the 12 ones here, the 10 ones became 110, which got moved over here. So now we can actually do the combining, where we take our, our 110 plus another 10, that becomes two 10s, and we have two ones left here. Uh, same situation over here, we went ahead and did our combining. And let's get rid of our column so it looks more like what the we would typically see in the vertical format. And so now our two tens and two ones are combined to be just 22, which in fact is 22 ones. The standard calls for adding a two digit 
with a multiple of 10, so let's try that. Let's try 17 plus 50, and again, let's set it up horizontally to give students experience with that. So here's our physical model with our manipulatives. And again, some students might just see, okay, 17 ones and 50 ones and 67 ones. Uh, but again, this would be like dealing with money. We have 67 pennies, which is a lot of work, <laughs> to tell you the truth. So no, nope, let's uh, do this uh, with place value. So the 17 is 1, 10, and 7 ones, and the 50 is simply 5 tens. Okay, get our manipulatives. Well, we have 1, 10, and 7 ones, and our 5 tens over here. Now, we can only combine like items, so it, that's a little tougher to see horizontally. So what we need to do, though, is we need to change the order. We need to use our commutative property where we uh, take the ones and move them over here, and then we take our tens and move them over here so that we have, again, tens with tens that we can combine together and ones with ones. So again, we have it written out here. We have our physical model. And then we also have this vertically, the way the students are going to see it, but we've added, again, the columns to emphasize, again, adding like items. So we have 1, 10, and 5, 10s. Well, that's simple enough. We can combine those, and then there's no other ones to combine. So this one actually turned out to be fairly simplistic. So we have 6, 10s, and 7, ones all together, which, of course, when we convert, this is how they're going to see it uh, on an exam. Uh, and again, so we have just 17 plus 50 ends up being 67 ones. So our six tens and our seven ones is 67 understood to be ones. So now let's combine a two digit with another two digit. This breaks up into 30 plus 4 and 20 plus 7, which expresses ones would look like this, but we need to work with place value. So let's convert this to where it's three tens and four ones. Have to combine that with two tens and seven ones. So we're ready to go. Get our physical manipulatives to go with this. But again, we need to use our commutative property and switch these around. We need to move the tens over here so we can have tens together. We need to move the ones over here so we can have all our ones together. So after having done that, now we can do our combining. So we added our tens, three and two, that gave us five tens, but we have a problem again with the ones. Uh, we added four and seven, that gives us 11 ones, but we cannot express it this way. So again, students need to realize that, hey, I need to take uh, the 11 ones, let's see, uh, 10 from 11 is one, so this breaks down to one and 10. So we have 10 ones, uh, same idea expressed over here, but in a different format, that okay, this, these 10 ones right here, I need to convert those. So we convert our 10 ones to 110, and so now we're set. So now we, com we can combine all of our 10s, uh, this 10 with those other five, and we're only left with just one one. Move our 10 over. Combine them, six tens plus one one. Then change this to where it looks like it's normally stated uh, as a standard algorithm. So we ended up with 61. Six tens and one one. Now when doing examples, it's important that students see examples similar to this one, where, okay, we had four tens and three tens, that's seven tens. But when we add the ones, we get exactly 10 ones, which converts to 110. So they need some experience with that, especially here, where again, it's important that they realize that, that, hey, I need to have a zero here because I have zero ones. I can't just have an eight because not everybody might see that that's eight tens. So again, it's important uh, that students get this kind of experience. So this was a long standard. There was a lot to it. Uh, we added within 100, we added a two digit with a one digit with a multiple of 10 and with another uh, two digit. Uh, we used drawings, we used some models, we used manipulatives, uh, we used strategies, uh, especially based on place value and our properties of operations. 
Uh, we made sure that we had it also in writing, both horizontally and vertically. And in the vertical uh, mode, uh, we made sure that we split them up into columns so that students could see uh, adding tens with tens and adding ones with ones, which was this idea here, uh, that they have to be like items. And we did try to focus on examples where in almost every case it, it necessitated that we composed a 10.